Joining me now is Kyle Frank. He is the VP of Exploration at Troilus Gold. Great to see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, so uh, let's get an overview on the Troilus mine. This is past producing. This is a resource that uh, the company has grown by something like 12 million ounces the last uh, three years or so. So uh, give us a snapshot if you could. Yeah, so Troilus operated for 14 years, produced 2 million ounces of gold and 7,000 tons of copper, 70,000 tons of copper during that time. Shut down in 2010. Uh, we started drilling in 2018 and, and basically didn't stop until last fall. Uh, we drilled over 300,000 meters and took the resource uh, for the time of acquisition, which was a 2 million ounce underground target to a 13 million ounce equivalent indicated and inferred um, open pit story. So um, that's where we're at. Lots of drilling and, and lots of growth. All right. Very good. And I understand a definitive feasibility study is on the horizon, maybe in the next few weeks. I know you don't have the numbers yet, but uh, what can we generally expect? Yeah, so we're, we're hoping to uh, put it out in February. Um, we're, uh, we're getting very close, so I certainly can't speak about the numbers, but we're looking at a, a 35,000 ton per day, open pit only operation. Um, with some of our recent discoveries at X22 and, and other kind of near surface targets, we're, we're looking at phasing in high grade early in the mine life to uh, pay back capital as soon as we can. Now, Kyle, your CEO, Justin Reed, has said that a good analogy to what you have at Troilus is uh, Artemis. They're, they're similar in size and grade to you guys, and they're maybe a, a couple of years in, ahead. So can you compare and contrast? Yeah, so um, if you look at the resource size and tons and the grade, we're very, very similar. Um, we are, we're different projects. They're uh, um, in British Columbia. They're a, a greenfield site. We're a brownfield site. Um, we have infrastructure that, that kind of puts us ahead in that respect. Um, but they're two years ahead of us. They've ticked off feasibility study, permitting, financing. They're in construction and they're a billion dollar company. Uh, we're a $120 million company. We're just about, a, about to put our feasibility out. We're well along the way of permitting. Uh, we're very confident on the process and we're working on, on financing. So we tick all those boxes and we start to look an awful lot like Artemis. All right, very good. Now, what about uh, Catalyst this year? And then uh, take us through a, a timeline to construction roughly, if you could. Yeah, so a big catalyst, obviously, feasibility study, um, permitting, um, ongoing. Um, I should say we're, we're, we just started one drill. We're going to be drilling about, say, 25,000 meters this year, um, sort of near mine site targets that we haven't had a chance to drill previously. Um, so hoping for some exciting news flow from an exploration perspective, even though we're kind of, you know, deep into engineering and permitting. Um, so those are some catalysts for the year. All right, very good. And just uh, lastly, if you could sum it up, you were at a conference a while ago. We've just kicked off uh, VRIC here. Uh, a lot of investors are looking for different ideas and they, they can go any uh, different direction. What's, what's your elevator pitch basically for Troilus? Yeah, Troilus is, is proven as a, a successful mine in the past. We're in a great jurisdiction in the Southern James Bay in Quebec. Um, local communities are familiar with the project and on side. Um, I think we have we have infrastructure in place to to put this back into production. Um, I think it's a it's a really great project in Canada, um, a good environment, and uh, you know, big resource that's going to provide generation a generational project for years to come. I like it. Good stuff. Thanks, Kyle. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Kyle Frank. He is the VP of Exploration at Troilus Gold.